Okay, well anyway, it was three, three years ago today that <laughs> we started up. And um, one thing that's significant about this date in history, I don't know if you all know, but 165 years ago today, the governor, uh, Clinton, was on his way up the canal and the celebration of the wedding of the waters. Um, yesterday, there would have, you would have heard a volley of cannon sounds across the state of New York, lions being one of the sites that cannons were shot off. It started in Black Rock in Buffalo and went approximately eight miles, and every eight miles a cannon went off, and it, then it came to Lyons. And all the way to New York City and all the way back, and this took two hours for this sound, a volley of sounds to make it. Um, a few days later, the governor stopped in the Lyons, and he had a big party and celebration. It was right here. Actually, the canal was over a little bit, but they stopped off, and there is an account of this. And next year, will be this will be one of the things that um, we're going to be sponsoring with other municipalities across the state of New York. We now have a village that we can be proud of, and it's the efforts of um, people like Charlie Bowers and Gabe, who had the insight to go ahead and apply for the challenge grants to have this park come about. I was down here three years ago, and believe me, there was nothing here. There was a tie-ups for the tugboats, and that was it. And I remember specifically that there was a beer ball sitting across the way, and uh, no longer will see that. Now we have flowers and this lovely mural in front of us. And there have been many boaters who have noticed. I've, uh, as you notice, all through the summer they've been parked out there and they go up and they eat at the Bridge Tavern. In the future they're going to keep a log of all the uh, boaters. And they said what a difference this has made. And they say this is one of the prettiest sites along the entire canal system right here in Lyons, New York. So there are other things in Lyons than other, the, what other people have been talking about. We do have a village to be proud of. And sum up, it was 75 years ago, approximately today, that Glenn Salisbury and Richard Garrity last crossed paths as the last towpath hoagies before the old Erie Canal closed for the winter forever and the opening of the Barge Canal. It has also been 75 years since they have met face to face. It was hoped that the two of them could have um, could have met today, but Glenn's wife uh, is uh, bedridden and, and he wasn't able to make it down. It is to them that I would like to dedicate this mural. For them, this wasn't a painting. It was their life. And they are the silent heroes that we should be proud of. And hopefully in a couple weeks, we are going to bring Glenn Salisbury and Richard Gary to, together in the Erie Canal Museum. They truly have not seen each other in 75 years. They have been corresponding through the mail throughout these years. And they were the last tow, towpath walkers. And they didn't walk this canal. They walked the canal that goes by Hotchkiss over there. So, like the official will be dedicated to them. Okay, now I'd like to bring up John Groves, and he's going to uh, tell us a little more about the Wedding of the Waters. Officially uh, dedicate today, because a year from today, this, the new Seneca chief will be coming down the canal, and the fireworks will be happening. Prime time, 9 o'clock course with Eastern Standard Time. Okay, John? Oh, there you are. Okay. Hello. Which one of these is mine? No, they're both fine. Oh, they're both fine. Okay. This one? All right. Uh, first of all, I'd like to uh, welcome everyone that's here, and uh, I'd like to open up by talking a little bit about the Erie Canal itself. Early in the 1800s, uh, when New York State, where you're standing now, was a virtual wilderness with forest and, and uh, primeval forests, and absolutely nothing was here, uh, the idea was brought before the, uh, the federal government about opening the canal across the United States, because this was the only area, really, that it could be done. And when this was uh, brought before uh, Thomas Jefferson, who was then president, um, 
he felt a, uh, the project was 100 years ahead of us, that it couldn't possibly be done with the technology of the day, and he himself was an engineer. He also felt that the uh, federal money shouldn't be spent on, in New York State on a private state project, because at that time there was a tremendous amount of controversy between money being spent in federal projects and state projects. James Madison also said that the cost of the project would exceed the entire funds of the United States government's uh, money pool to build a canal from uh, Albany to, to Lake Erie. Uh, D. Wood and Clinton felt quite differently. Um, he said, one of the things he said uh, prior to the canal being built was that it was going to be a bond of union between the Atlantic and Western states. It may prevent the dismemberment of the American Empire. He felt that the canal was essential not only for New Yorkers but also for the nation in, in general. He also said that uh, it will also open up the Midwest areas. The, uh, the most fertile and extensive regions of America will avail themselves of its, of its facilities for a market. Uh, another thing that maybe he didn't realize was the fact that the Erie Canal was also going to be the artery, the passage from the East Coast into the Midwest that all the people and immigrants were going to travel into the interior of our country and build the country as we know it today. On July 4th, 1817, in Rome, New York, um, Judge Joshua Richardson, in a field south of Rome, or actually southwest of Rome, a little bit north of Wood Creek, dug the first spade full of dirt in the Erie Canal. This was uh, 1817. And this was a joyous occasion. It was celebrated by bands, parties, artillery, barrages, and everything and in forms of a celebration. Eight years later, in 1825, the canal was completed. Um, on July, um, I'm sorry, on October 26, 1825, the canal was officially opened with a celebration that started in Black Rock, New York. Black Rock, New York was a small community south of Buffalo, and it was the western terminus of the Erie Canal. Buffalo essentially was nothing more than just a small village, not much larger in Rochester, possibly uh, 12 or 1,500 people. But Black Rock was the western terminus. Uh, a boat left um, the uh, Black Rock area, and around 10 o'clock in the morning, 165 years ago yesterday, and as Mark was saying, uh, there was a cannon relay from Black Rock when the boat, in a sense, set off, and every five to eight miles, the cannons uh, sounded a salute or a, a signal down through the entire uh, Erie Canal um, course to Albany, and then from Albany all the way down to New York City. When a signal was received in New York City, it reversed itself, went all the way back up to Albany, all the way to Weedsport, which unfortunately there was a tragic and terrible accident where the men were so excited about the idea they overloaded the cannon and blew themselves to kingdom come. Uh, beyond that, uh, it was a very safe and, and joyous occasion. When the boat left uh, Black Rock, it came east along the uh, original Erie Canal and through here in Lyons. Actually, the Erie Canal in Lyons uh, went through that uh, village of Lyons just a little bit north of here, up through the Pilgrimport Loop and then continuing east to Albany. The Weddings of the Water uh, celebrated the opening of the canal, and one of the things they did before they left uh, Black Rock was to get a large bucket of water from Lake Erie uh, with the idea of pouring it into New York, Harvey as a, some, New York Harbor as a symbolic gesture of the marriage of, of the waters of the, of the interior of the United States, the Great Lakes, and all the waters of the entire Earth. Um, the, um, the Erie Canal, by the way, uh, was was called the Erie Canal and was built, but it also had other names, uh, Clinton's Follies, Clinton's Ditch, the Grand Canal, which is one name I kind of like, and a little bit about the Erie Canal, and that is when it was first built, it was 363 miles long, that's from Albany to Black Rock, and it was a ditch uh, that was uh, four feet deep, you could easily walk across without drowning, it was 40 feet across, and it was 28 feet across at the bottom. Uh, there were 83 stone locks. All these locks were built by hand. The entire prism of the canal, which is actually the ditch of the canal, is also uh, dug by hand. To give you some idea what that meant, uh, if you go out into the middle of a woods sometime with an axe and a shovel and think of yourself as digging or clearing an area 60 feet wide, 363 miles long with a shovel and axe, it'll give you some idea of, of the kinds of effort that were put into the canal. There were 12 aqueducts on the canal. Uh, one of the aqueducts is predicted in our mural here. Uh, this is one over by Abbey Park. 
Uh, there were also, also over 300 occupation bridges. Uh, occupation bridges were bridges that were built across the canal so that farmers could tend their fields on either side and they called them occupation bridges because that was the farmer's occupation. In the first year alone, 19,000 boats operated on the Erie Canal. When you consider being 1825, this is a rather surprising figure. In the first year, over 40,000 immigrants migrated from the East Coast and from Europe and different parts of the United States into the Western interior. The tolls in the first year alone were three quarters of a million dollars. And in 1825 dollars, that's a considerable amount of money, considering the fact that the original canal only cost six million dollars to build. Um, Erie wishes to reenact this Wedding of the Waters, as Mark was saying, uh, next year. Next year will be the 166th anniversary of the opening of the Erie Canal. Uh, October 26th just so happens to fall on a Saturday, which will be great for us because uh, everybody won't be, or at least be out of on a weekend. And the way we're going to do it, instead of using 32-pound cannons, which were originally used uh, for the most part, and they're also British cannons, which is a certain amount of irony there. Um, they were, <laughs> we're going to try to have the communities use fireworks. In other words, the idea is, let's say, for instance, we'll take lions. The next community down would be Newark, and as soon as their fireworks go off in the east, or I'm sorry, in the west, we would see the sky light up, and then we light ours off, and then the next community down the way would light theirs off, and then you'd have a huge linear fireworks display from Buffalo to New York Harbor, and I believe it will be the world's largest uh, fireworks display ever, ever done right here in western New York State. Well, I'd like to thank you for being here, and I think this mural is a tremendous project, and Lyons is a tremendous place to live. You're extremely lucky. I'm from Rochester myself, and you're very lucky to have this mural here, and also having the Grand Erie Canal coming right through the center of your town. Thank you very much. I'd like to have uh, Simon and Frank Chalomi come up and say a few words to the group. Thank you, Mark. And after that history lesson, I expect that we'll be taking a test to see how well we remembered. I would like to congratulate the parents of the three-year-old baby Erie and congratulate them on the outstanding work they've done as volunteers. Uh, as most of you know, part of my responsibility as an assemblyman is the ranking member on the tourism committee. And this year, I'm pleased to say that we did pass the first of the legislation which would enable the 524 mile Erie Canal to be developed and this is a good example of what could happen uh, if we are successful in passing the second resolution in 1991 on the ballot there will be a resolution a referendum which would allow us to remove the prohibitions that presently exist in the state constitution but I'm pleased that uh, we have volunteers like the people that work with Gary and Mark and all of you that uh, took it upon your own initiative to do what should have been done by the municipalities. I was pleased that I was able to support the matching grant that allowed the building of this park because I think it is a wonderful asset and I am in favor of continuing to develop the lands along the canal. I think the Muriel is uh, a very good addition and it's this sort of, uh, of programs that I feel will benefit the people in the state of New York. I would like to also commit to the fact that I make myself available to support you and as Sharon knows I've uh, been supportive of the, the art programs and I congratulate again everybody that was involved. It's an outstanding day and I'm in charge of the weather today. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Assemblyman. Uh, now I'd like uh, Sharon and Louis to come up and uh, say a few words about uh, how this all comes about. And she's, uh, she's been a real sponsor for us here and helped us through all these. How to fill in the, the blanks on the applications and such and that. The real pleasure for me in being here today is that uh, with a decentralization program, which is a program of the New York State Council on the Arts, which we administer here in Wayne County, 
Uh, it's a, a grant program that allows for cultural programming. And much of the time when we uh, give these grants to local organizations, it's for performing. And so although the performances are terrific and they're certainly enjoyed by their audiences, they're not really permanent. So it's a real delight to be involved here today in, in uh, dedicating this, which will be a permanent uh, reflection of the decentralization program. And the best part about the decentralization program is that it is seed money for local organizations. And that's what we're proudest of with regard to Erie, that we gave them a grant and they ran with it. They took it and they used it to interest local organizations in funding this mural. And it's that and the wonderful relationship that the Arts Council and Erie have been able to develop. In fact, um, some days we swear they live in our office, um, but it's, that's been one of the joys of this mural project. And I'd like to congratulate Erie because it's been a big job and they've done it very well. But I'd also like to celebrate the partnership because it happened because Erie made it happen, but there were some folks around here who helped make it possible, like Santelli Lumber, on whose building it is. And uh, so it's really a partnership of a lot of people in Lyons, and we'd like to celebrate that today. Thanks. Thank you, Sharon. Now, I'm, I'd like to thank, here's some of the people that helped make this possible. We have. The mural, we received a $1,000 grant from the Council for the Art, but most artists, uh, that's just a drop in the bucket. So we had to raise quite a bit more. And uh, these are some of the people that helped make this possible. I'd like to thank Jimmy Santelli from Santelli's Lumber. Uh, they not only provided the building, but they also provided us all the sign board to make this possible. And he also gave us, uh, we also got the paint there too. <laughs> I'd also like to thank um, <laughs> Dr. Uh, Mitchell. He was a patron donator. Super Stang. Lewis and Patterson Insurance. The Lions National Bank. Barnes Eggway. The Lions Chamber of Commerce. And our own John Groves. Is, is that everybody that? Uh, with a patron, okay. And there were also some other donators. Uh, Mrs. Farrell from Newark and the Bridge Tavern. It did we leave out anybody else? Okay. <laughs> um, i also like to thank, this wouldn't be possible without the volunteer labor force. Um, I'd also like to thank uh, Stuart Smart, my right-hand man. He is always there to do something. Give Stuart a big hand. I know we don't don't like it, Stuart, but well, I'd like to thank our, our treasurer, Mary Filani. She kept track of this 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 total. We were selling T-shirts and, and trying to raise money. It was it was it was quite the experience, wasn't it? Okay, David Conroy for use of the dry docks to paint the prime the boards. I'd also like to thank there he is over there, David, for bringing down the urger today, Doug Urger. And uh, I'd like to thank uh, the Butler of Shock Incarceration, and we have uh, Mark and, and Val out there, right over there. They uh, they made it possible. They saved us approximately uh, around a thousand dollars because it would have taken us a couple more weeks uh, to have painted this, or else Andy Miller would have had had to paint it. Uh, and they got it done in a couple days. In fact, they, they got the first coat on. I was expecting to be there all day. Had the first coat on in, in two and a half hours. Um, and uh, it's a good thing because that particular day there was a thunderstorm coming in from the west, and we got it we got it covered just in time. I'd like to thank uh, Tom Sealing for coming by today. He's going to provide the music a little later. Tom, still around? There you are. Okay. We thank Charlie Bowers for. Uh, all the help, and Charlie's also going to uh, is going to be lighting the mural and putting that. I guess they're going to uh, light the mural around Christmas. I guess that's what their plans are. The Village Alliance and Gabe for all their support. 
our own John Groves who would drive out from uh, by the airport on, on a minute's notice. He's probably been to my house sometimes. Uh, he eats there more than I do sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> we have uh, and uh, Tim McFall who I'll put up the mural. Um, and any other Erie members that uh, were here and helped support uh, the mural. Pauline? Okay. This, did I forget anybody? Oh, I, that's coming next. Don't worry. And y'all, y'all, everybody wants to know who did the painting. Well, that was Andy Miller uh, of Miller Brothers Signs, and this was painted. I have some pictures. He painted it in the shop, and and it took him approximately uh, two weeks, and it's it's quite fascinating. And I do have a video that I can show afterwards of putting it up. It's a time lapse video. It lasts a minute. It took us probably an hour and 15 minutes to put up, but we, but the video is a minute. And he did a great job on this. And uh, this is various scenes throughout the state. Uh, the, the most important, of course, is in the center. <laughs> I also like to thank the other finalists. It was a very hard decision the night we sat down and had to decide who the finalists would be. Uh, we had Arthur Barnes, who uh, is from Albion, and um, he just happened to attend our canal conference in March. And while, we, while he was there, I just happened to mention it to him. He, he dropped right down to the Council for the Arts and got an application. And he submitted a, a lovely um, rendition. We also had Nick Cameron from Newark. So anytime in the future, if we do have other sites, we do have the artist. I think it's a lovely thing. OK. I have a letter from uh, Congressman um, Frank Horton, I'd like to read. He wasn't able to attend today. Please accept my sincere congratulations and best wishes on the occasion of the dedication of the Erie Mural and Lions. I am pleased to have the opportunity to express my interest and support for your organization and its efforts to promote the restoration of the Erie Canal. I know you have an outstanding event and I send my regards to, to all in attendance. I look forward to meeting with you in the near future to discuss your goals and restoration plans. With warmest personal regards, Congressman Frank Horton. Okay, I'd like to thank everybody who uh, came out today. I really appreciate the support. And tell all your friends that the mural is here. Also, the donators, there will be a, a billboard sign going up adjacent to the mural. That's still being painted because we had a few last minute donators. Uh, that will be in the, up in the near future. Okay, and now I uh, suppose it's time, unless anybody else would like to say something, it's time to turn over to uh, Tom Sealing to provide us with some afternoon uh, local, original Wayne County music. Thank you for coming today. This song uh, is one of the ones that I do, and I, I, this was my favorite one out of all the Erie Canal songs that I've heard. Um, as I tell the kids when I do this, if you imagine that you were really one of the hoagies there working on the canal 150 years ago, um, and you were really out there on one, some hot day in July, one of the things they never talk about is that there were a lot of mules that went along these towpaths, you know. And of course, if you had that many mules and horses in one place, you ended up with a lot of manure. And if you had a lot of manure around, you ended up with a lot of flies. So this song uh, is the only one that brought the flies into it. And so I uh, figured it'd be a called Buffalo to Troy. I traveled all around this world and town of one to two. Was cast on desert islands and beaten black and blue. Well, I fought and bled at bulls, run and wandered since a boy. But I'll never forget the trip I took from Buffalo to Troy. For it was tramp, tramp, tramp and tighten in your and watch those playful flies as all the mules they climb well whoa, back get up forget it and never shell when i drove a team of spavin mules on the ear i he can now now spavin actually means that uh, i guess it basically means cow hawk that their feet went out to the side the cook we had on board 
orthodex stood six feet in her socks. Her hand was like an elephant's ear, and her breath would open the locks. Well, a maid of sixty summers was she who slept upon the floor. And when at night she'd get to sleep, oh, suffering how she'd snore. For it was tramp, 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 and tighten in your lines. And watch those playful flies as o'er the mules they climb. Well, roll back, get up, forget it, and ever shell. When I'm every inch a sailor there on the ear I can now. Well, one night on the Erie, I couldn't sleep a wink. The crew was all bored down on me, cause I refused to drink. Well, fearful storms and heavy fox forget it and ever shell. But I'm every inch a sailor there on the Erie Canal. For it was tramp, 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 and tighten in your lines. And watch those playful flies as o'er the mules they climb. Well, oh, back. Get up, forget it, and ever shell. But I'm every inch a sailor there on the Erie Canal. We can do a little more familiar Erie Canal music in a minute. This one is. Uh, I grew up over in Rose, not far away, on the Lion's End of Rose, no less. I guess that's a little louder than the banjo was. Maybe a little too loud. And like a lot of people that grow up in small towns, I was anxious to go somewhere else. And uh, I went to a few other places, but then after a while decided I came back home in 1980 and there was a house and a barn and 10 acres up for seal bids in rows. And uh, I bid $7,000. <laughs> I didn't have the money, but I figured I could borrow it. And um, it turned out the only other bid was 1500 which is gives you an idea what kind of shape this place was in. But I've been there, been there ever since, and uh, have since decided that Wayne County is a real good place to be. And uh, the song is for that. So it's called Search Far and Wide, if I can get my hands warm enough to play it. <laughs> settles down like a quilt or the windbreak a spruce is out by the road I tromp in and stomp off clean clumps of white and roll down my last firewood load the smell of warm bread and a hot pot of coffee is a greeting as a hope in the door. Three cats and two dogs dream of woodchucks and mice while snoring stretched out on the floor. And you can search far and wide for the right place, but it's all just a state of mind. These brushy old hills of old Just fine. Great up some cabbage, cook a couple potatoes, sit down to a dinner so fine. Give thanks for the earth and the power of love and good friends and neighbors so kind. Talk of food trucks and clear eye. Building additions, making a living each day. From barn doors to new floors, the work's never through. But what we added, it seems more like play. And you can search far and wide for the right place. Oh, and it's all just a state of mind. These brushy old hills of old suit me and my friends just fine. After the dishes, we sit by the fire, read a book or study or sing. Who 
says there's no culture where the street lights don't shine with good books and these old guitar strings. And you can search far and wide for the right place when it's all just a state of mind. These brushy old hills of oh, suit me and my friends just fine. So I guess I'll stay on, though it's often quite cloudy and the winters are a little too long. For good friends and family and quiet walks alone, this old place is where I belong. Last chance, and you can search far and wide for the right place. Oh, and it's all just a state of mind. These brushy old hills of oh, oh suit me and my friends just fine. younger people here and this is a canal song everybody knows I think I should probably keep it short because everyone looks pretty cold <laughs> ready to go up to the tavern this is one that everybody knows no excuse for not singing along I mean this is the celebration right <laughs> on the Erie Canal. She's a good old worker and a good old pal. Fifteen miles on the Erie Canal. We've hauled some barges in our day. She eats beans and I eat hay. All the way from Albany to Buffalo. Here's the chorus. Low bridge, everybody down low. Cause we're coming to a town And you'll always know your neighbor You'll always know your pal If you've ever navigated on the Erie Canal Well, we better look around for a job, old gal Fifteen miles on the Erie Canal Well, you bet your life I wouldn't part with Sal Fifteen miles on the Erie Canal Get up there, girl, we passed that lock We'll make room for six o'clock Just one more trip And then we'll go right back home to Buffalo Here we go Low Bridge, everybody down Low Bridge, cause we're coming to a town And you'll always know your neighbor You'll always know your pal If you've ever navigated on the Erie Canal my cell 15 miles on the Erie Canal well I'd like to see a mule as good as Sal 15 miles on the Erie Canal a friend of mine once got her sore now he's got a broken jaw cause she let fly with her iron toe and kicked him into Buffalo low bridge everybody down low Cause we're coming to a town And you'll always know your neighbor You'll always know your pal If you've ever navigated on the Erie Canal I don't have to call when I want myself Fifteen miles on the Erie Canal She trots from her stall like a good old gal Fifteen miles on the Erie Canal I eat my meals with Sal each day She gets beans and I get hay she ain't so slow if you want to know She put the buff in Buffalo Last chance, Low Bridge Everybody down Low Bridge Cause we're coming to a town And you'll always know your neighbor You'll always know your pal If you've ever navigated on the Erie Canal You'll always know your neighbor You'll always know 
your belt if you've ever navigated on the Erie Canal in Lyons, New York. <laughs> Thanks. I think maybe I'll just do one more song. I don't know. You know, are people getting kind of chilly and stuff? I just want to say one thing. <laughs> okay. Um, we are convening at the Bridge Tavern where we have some uh, cheese and crackers afterwards. So if Tom, it, it looks like you can't loosen your dexterity, are you? Oh, yeah, but I get enough for one more song. <laughs> okay, then uh, I'd like to invite everybody over and warm up uh, over in the bridge. We got the porch reserved till around 4 or 4.30, so invite everybody over there. And also today I'd like to mention one thing. Um, over there is B. Phillips, and uh, she helped organize uh, the planting of uh, 3,000 spring bulbs in Newark today. And believe me, there were 35, 40 individuals out there. That's what we got to be proud of. Uh, and they did a great job. So ne nor next year, Newark might have it over reliance and a beautification, but <laughs> but it's great. It's great. Well. One of the nicest things about doing anything as a community, of course, is uh, the people that you meet and get to know better in any of these projects. So I thought this might be a nice song for me to end up with. This is one I wrote a little while back, uh, thinking about trying to do things that you think are worthwhile. It's called I Will Be Glad for Knowing You. And uh, the chorus is pretty easy to sing on. I noticed some people singing on that last one, so maybe we can keep the momentum up here. Stay a little warmer by using those vocal chords. The chorus goes, when the day is finally done and our work is finally through, the moon and stars begin their drift across the sky, I will be glad for knowing you. So I'll, I'll try uh, playing it once and you can see if you can join in here. finally through the moon and stars begin their drift across the sky I will be glad for knowing you I try that with me once when the day is finally done when the day is finally done is finally through the moon and stars begin their drift across the sky I will be glad for knowing you I see some people singing the sun eases down over two lanes westbound hot tires whirling down the valley as we rumble along and in a day hard and long it's good to have a friend here with me when the day is finally done and our work is finally through stars begin their drift across the sky I will be glad for knowing you sharing water from a pickle jar that still tastes like dill quiet laughs and nods as the miles roll away oh good work you tired, but the heart's still inspired. You hope you've helped a bit since the break of day. Here we go. When the day is finally done, and our work is finally through, the moon and stars begin their drift to cross the sky. I will be glad for knowing you. Drop you off at 
at your home Once again I'm back alone Moon's halfway down Pump the gas and turn the key As this old engine cranks Just a little twinge of thanks Through the night You're still with me Last time When the day is finally done And our work is finally through stars begin their drift across the sky I will be glad for knowing you let's try that one more time when the day is finally done and our work is finally through the moon and stars begin their drift across the sky I will be glad for Thanks. And thanks for all your work on this thing. Thanks, Mark. Thanks, everybody that worked on this. It's beautiful. Thanks for inviting me out. And uh, let's go get warm. <laughs> I'd like to thank everybody for coming down today. Uh, one thing I failed to mention is uh, you can. Uh, we have applications over here. You can become a member of Erie easily. And we also have tier <laughs> we also have T-shirts available uh, for sale. Uh, they are. Uh, $10 and their help support the mural and other projects that we got going on. Next summer, uh, in and around Peppermint Days, we're going to have a canal side folk music. And uh, maybe we'll have Tom back uh, to, to sing for us then. And also, if you're interested in purchasing some of Tom Sealing's music, they're available at the Arts Council, which is adjacent right across the canal. They have the best view in Lions of the mural. Yes! So, but, so um, we got some cheese and crackers, so I need some help eating them up. <laughs> okay, thanks a lot.